Yo, in this video, I want to show you six different granular synth techniques. You will learn how to take sounds like these and transform them into these. By the end of this video, you will learn how to take these six techniques and write with them full tracks. Let's go. So let's start with the rhythmic pad. Let's listen first of all to the sound I chose for this demonstration. Let's have a listen first of all to what I've done with this sample. Okay, so how did we get to this? Let's look at the grain scanner and try to figure out what's happening here. So first of all, you can see that I'm only choosing a segment which sits in between the hits. So I'm getting that spaciness of the sound. There is some automation on the duration and on the pitch. You can notice the duration starts from 107 milliseconds all the way through to 857. So, if I highlight half a bar and look down here, now I'm hovering above the highlighted segment, you can see that it says 857 milliseconds, which is equal to a half a bar in 140 BPM. So the duration basically determines the size of each grain. One feature of the grain scanner which is really important to understand from the beginning is the grain window. This is essentially an envelope that controls each and individual grain and you can choose from various different shapes. Notice that we have a dry wet knob for the filter. I haven't really seen this in any other plugin so I can turn the filter off or on. I decided to leave the filter on a low pass and cut quite a lot of the harsh high frequencies in this sound. Let's talk about the distortion segments quickly. You can toggle between two option, options, saturator and exciter. So the saturator is saturating the low frequency below the split frequency point right here. The exciter will distort the high frequency above the split frequency so in the grey art section. So let's listen to the sound with a bit of context just so you get a bit of a feeling of this track and notice the automation as the track plays. So let's have a listen to our next sound. If I had to drop this sound as it is into my production, I would probably not have any use for it. But when you use granular synth, sometimes what I'm looking for is just a texture. I really like the texture of this sound. And let's have a listen to what I've done with it. So what's happening here is again really simple. We have automation, automation on the duration, which controls the size of each grain. So in this case, we're just changing the rhythm slightly as we go. So the main movement in this patch comes from the position of. I'll play the sound again and notice the movement along this along this line. And if you also look at the synth, you will see that the position scans through the sample. Nice. Let's listen to the next example. So I took this sound and I transformed it into this. Okay. 
as you can see, we have the matrix tabs open. And so let's talk a bit about that. So in order to understand how the matrix tabs works, we need to go first to the modulation tab. So in this batch, I have three mods. This one is a rate of a quarter of a bar with a sine wave, and that is controlling the duration by 50%. So it's controlling this knob by 50% up. You can see by the plus sign here. Mod two is a triangle wave on half a bar, controlling the pitch by 12 semitones. Mod three is sample and hold, rate of 16th note, controlling the layers by 100%. So it controls this. You also have a visual representation for each mod right here. So as you can see, the sine wave going crazy. You can see the triangle wave going a bit slower and you can see the sample and hold flickering around on in the 16th note pattern. So let's have a listen again. And I will take the modulations off one by one so you can hear what each one is doing. We have one more sound, and it's this tab, which are transformed into this. So the main movement in this patch come from the duration, from the layers, and from the filter cutoff. So playing with these three parameters can yield tremendous results in terms of movement. Let's try to find parts where the when there is an automation on the layers as well. Let's take this off. Quite a big difference. So we have a few more things to cover here. And the first one is, is what we can do with hi-hats using a granular synth. So I took a simple hat, which sounds like this, and transformed it into this. We have automations on the layers and the duration, and that's it. Notice that the filter is off. So another sound that I have here is our snare. And I transformed it into this. Notice there is a gentle, gentle automation on the pitch, so giving that rising effect and creating some more tension. And we have a bit of automation on the duration and the layers to create the movement. Another thing that we have here that creates a bit of movement is that's the panning variation. Let's have a listen again and try to listen to the panning. This is basically a random pan slider. One more sound that we have is this clap, which I will play to with the granulated version. Notice what it does. Nice. The trick here is to automate the position, duration, and layers. So another trick is using the grain scanner to make a drone. In this case, I didn't have any automation, but I had to set the duration and the layers to a value which keep the drone quite smooth. So let's have a listen. I think the only automation that I have here is on the filter cutoff. And I will move the layers and the duration as I play. And 
these values, it sounds quite smooth. I also toggled on the key follow, the key follow button, which determines if this plugin is using the original source material or the key that we have here. So when the key follow is on, it's using the F note that I chose. So with that in mind, let's have a listen to this entire track. Hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, see you the next one. One more thing that I wanted to mention is that this is a paid plugin. So if you go to the Ableton website, click on packs, scroll down until you find Grain Scanner by Amazing Noises. Go buy it.